Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about an incident involving the Tiny Boys Gang and who the Tiny Boys Gang believed to be Quattro Flats gang members. In August 2017, the Tiny Boys Gang had about 90 documented members. The Tiny Boys Gang is a criminal street gang that commits murder, vandalism, narcotics crimes, gun possessions, and extortion and its principal activities are shootings, murder, extortion, robberies, and gun crimes. TB in Chicago are common symbols for the Tiny Boys Gang, and its principal rivals are the Quattro Flats, Primera Flats, and Breed Street Gangs. The crimes at issue here took place in Quattro Flats territory. On August 17, 2017, Christian Hernandez and about 10 others attended a family barbecue at his mother's home on East 3rd Street in Los Angeles. At about 11.45 p.m., Hernandez, his mother, girlfriend, Mayela Shaviria, and his girlfriend's sister were in the front yard cleaning up. Several children were present. A small blue Ford Escort that belonged to Carlos Morez with two people inside drove up and stopped in the street in front of the home. A man wearing a dark sweatshirt and hoodie covering his head got out of the passenger side and approached the house, pointing a gun at the people in the yard. Maela said to Hernandez, Be careful, he has a gun. The man asked Hernandez, Where are you from? Hernandez told the man to put the gun away because kids were present. He also said they were from nowhere and that only paisas were there, by which he meant just Mexicans. The man ran back to Carlos's car and got in on the passenger side. After hurting his family indoors, Hernandez ran to his car, thinking he could use it to block the small car from coming near his family. Meanwhile, Carlos' car had driven away on 3rd Street, then made a U-turn and returned to within 60 feet of Hernandez's car, at which point Hernandez's car and windshield were struck by at least one bullet. Hernandez pulled his car from its parking spot and rammed it into the front of Carlos's car, pushing it toward the sidewalk and forcing it to crash into a parked car to ensure the car would not escape. At least three shots had been fired at Hernandez before he rammed Carlos's car and numerous shots followed for a total of up to 15 gunshots. Mayela recalled that after Carlos's car returned, she saw the person who had earlier approached the house standing outside the car and shooting a rifle at Hernandez's car. After ramming Carlos's car, Hernandez drove away about 10 miles out of concern for his family. He did not see what happened to the people in the car. Meanwhile, two men from inside Carlos's car ran off. Mayela's sister called 911. When LAPD officers arrived, they found 10 to 12 bullet casings in the street, which had likely come from a small rifle or handgun. They were damaged to the front end of the abandoned escort, Carlos's car, and the airbags had deployed. The vehicle had no bullet holes nor were any bullet casings found inside it. From inside Carlos's car, officers recovered a traffic ticket issued to Carlos, a notebook and speaker, each containing gang writing and two cell phones. Carlos's blood was found on the driver's side airbag. After obtaining a search warrant, the LEPD retrieved data from one cell phone which contained photos of Carlos. Hernandez did not return to his home on the night of the incident and avoided speaking to the LAPD for several days. By the time he met with police officers, Hernandez's car had been repaired. He shared with the LAPD photographs of his vehicle, which had been taken before the repairs were done. The photos showed, among other things, several bullet holes in the lower part of Hernandez's windshield and bullet holes in the hood, frame, and engine of his car. Because DNA evidence and cell phone evidence linked Tiny Boy's gang member to the crime, Tiny Boy's gang member Carlos Morez was convicted of attempted murder. Tiny Boy's gang member Carlos Morez was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison.